Good day, my plant foldies. This is Richie at Grow Folds, and today we'll be going to another Walmart in McKinney, Texas. This one, we're going to be looking to see if they have some more of those Costa Farms trending tropicals. Thank you guys for joining the Premier Live chats. It's always fun to chat with you guys. Um, I do premiere videos at 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. every day. Sometimes it can be a little bit late, but thank you guys for tuning in. So we are walking into this Walmart. I haven't been to this Walmart in a while, so we'll see if they have some um, restock. So hoping to see a restock. I'm not sure if they've actually restocked, but if you notice, Walmart has some um, dollar, $1, $5 stuff going on here. Um, these planters are looking really nice. I did want to pan over here because I am planning on doing a video featuring planters. So these are pretty cute for $3. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do a planters video um, comparing Walmart and other big, big, you know, big box stores. But we're going to walk over here. It looks like they still have a bunch of holiday stuff. Uh, man, there's stuff on the floor, but oh yeah, I can see that yes they do have a restock so this is exciting um we're gonna go ahead and look at all of these plants which i believe are 548 so the first one we're gonna take a look at is this pilea right over here um, for 548 um, this one is a really cute looking pilea plant right here i like the gray on gray look um I ended up just buying a, a waffle plant today as well, but let's look at this purple waffle plant for $5.48. Um, notice that Trending Tropicals has a new planter for these um, three and a half inch assorted exotic angel plants right over here. So that's really cool. I like that. I had a viewer let me know that they wanted me to take my time on just showing the smaller plants. So this is what I'm doing is just showing you guys some of the smaller plants. Now this is really cool. I like this. This plant is the um, China doll. And I did ask around if the China doll was like um, spider mite prone and it is not. It just needs a lot of bright indirect light. I do like how the foliage is very delicate. Um, it does grow f pr fairly fast. It's a fast grower. So this is one um, plant that I would consider putting in my collection. Let me know if you guys are growing the China doll plant um, and how it's grown for you. Um, we have another Hydra Helix, guys. This is um, this one is a cute one. This one looks like it's also thirsty as well. So somebody please give it some water. But it looks really nice. I like the variegation and just the very um, small foliage it has right over there. But I'll pan over here. This um, Walmart looks like it got like a, a a full box of these plants. This one right here is a Marginata um, bicolor. Dracaena Marginata bicolor. So that's really cool. I love the delicate leaves. It looks like it has um, a couple of colors indeed. And then we have, what else do we have going on right over here? We have another Hydra Helix spear point ivy so this one's a spear point ivy for 548 um it looks like uh the non-variegated version of that other hedra helix so that's really nice looking right over here um we have a peperomia golden or this is once just a variegated um peperomia i like the gray planter it's in and it's really cute i just noticed that there is a little um exotic angels um logo beveled into it so that's really nice we have another um, Dracaena, um, Janet Craig compacta. I kept on saying Jenny Craig, like Jenny Craig um, lose weight, but it's actually Janet Craig. So I'm so sorry if I've been mispronouncing the I, um, the plant ID for this Dracaena on all my other videos. Here is another um, false Aurelia right over here for 548. This one is the Olympia false Aurelia for 548. Um, I noticed how. Notice how like Costa Farms is changing up its planters. These planters are looking a little bit more modern. So I'm really excited to see that, um, you know, happen for the 24, 2024 um, spring season. Here is another um, Dracaena Marginata bicolor for 548. Really excited to see what plants they have at this location, at Walmart's location. 
And then this one right over here is a variegated Fatchadera. It looks like it's in desperate need of water. Actually, when I picked up all of these plants, they were all very light just because they do look like they haven't been watered. And then we have another um, Shaflera um, Louis, Louis Um That's a really nice looking umbrella plant though. And then we have a Croton right over there that I just didn't pull out. But as you can see, this Walmart actually has a ton of plants. I'm curious to see what that looks like. It looks like they got so many plants that they kind of packed it up. So hopefully we see some trending tropicals and some plants that we haven't seen. I'm going to pan out and it looks like they're starting to get their garden, lawn and garden patio section um, work. So that's a really cool end cap over there on the far right with a bunch of watering cans like that little light green color and we can see that there are a variety of plants this is unfortunate because it looks like um, whoever did the merchandising here just kind of threw the plants together like you can see there is a random um, quarter line for 9.97 these ones are the more compact versions of the tea plant notice the um, maroon pinkish stems really cute I would totally pick up this um, cordyline and see if I would actually try to grow this indoors. Now, the thing about cordyline is, unfortunately, it is spider mite prone, so you really have to look out for that. It's not as bad as a hedra helix. This one right over here is for $9.97. This one's another Diefenbachia, and I think I'm saying it right now. It's Diefenbachia. Um, it's, you know, German based, so yes. But I like the variegation on this one right here. This one is the Garden Expert. Um, variety which is basically grown by Costa Farms but um, that is the name brand for Walmart plants is Garden Expert if it is not a trending tropical so what else do we have going on over here what do you guys think about all of these plants mixed and jumbled up like I kind of wish they did a better job with that but at least the hanging baskets are placed in an area where they can hang this one is uh, for $10.97 this is an Epipremnum Arium Golden Pothos that one is a classic um, pothos right there everybody should have one in their collection I have one growing in my collection for sure and as we pan over here we have a bunch of other garden expert plants like this one right here this is really cool i haven't seen this at any of the location this is another um compact cordyline or tea plant i like that this one has more pronounced um pink variegation it almost reminds me of the aglonema in terms of just the pink outline so that's really cool for 9.97 the bottom leaves do have some yellowing so i don't know if that is a pest or if there's just water or if that is like spider mites so not 100 percent sure i am worried that there's a bunch of plants here so if there is um, some type of pest it's probably going to be spreading around here so you have to be careful when you're buying plants at big box stores um, this one is a dracaena um, janet craig compacta that's really cool but just to go back to what i was saying when you buy um, plants at big box stores you always have to assume that you are picking up a plant that has been exposed to like plant pests. So just to let you guys know what I do, if I were to buy a plant here today, for instance, I would go ahead and obviously isolate it from all of my plants. I would get some insecticidal soap. I like to get the um, organic brand of insecticidal soap so it's not really strong pesticides or like, like chemicals. That's just kind of dangerous for me. I will spray the plant down completely, the undersides of the leaves, the stems, some of the soil, the bottom of the, the plant, the side of the, um, the side of the planter, for instance, let it sit there. Then I would do some um, systemic granules, water it with some Super Thrive. And then after the plants dried up a little bit in terms of just the insecticidal soap, I would go back, rinse it out with some water you know the leaves like spray some water on it let it dry again and then use some we the wild neem oil and then i would let the plant sit um, isolated for about a day or two before i put it into my collection so i know i've um, rambled on there and i've kind of featured some aglonema while i was talking about that but um i did have a couple of viewers ask me like what my um, preventative care is and that's what i do when i buy big box store plants so as you can see, this one is an Aglonema Red Siam or Siam Aurora. So that's the thing about plants. They have different names for the same plant. So one could be called like Siam Aurora or Red Siam, but it's pretty much the same. 
Either way, I think that you all should definitely get aglonemas if you haven't already. Did you see all of the like nice bright coloring on those leaves? It's really gorgeous and they only um, and they actually tolerate low light conditions. But you can see here, this is a mini ficus lyrata. But if you see on the leaves, there are there are mealy bugs. So, yeah, definitely, definitely need to spray down the plants. If you are gonna buy, for instance, at this location. Either way though, I mean, that's just the nature of big box stores, you know. You know, somebody mentioned like, if I was being very negative toward big box stores, it's not that. I just think it's the whole process of, you know, you're, you're flipping a bunch of plants, you're selling a bunch of plants, and this isn't necessarily a plant shop. So the care for the plants, obviously we can't expect 100%. So I, I totally get it. I just feel bad that these are beautiful plants and you know, they need, they need just a little bit more love, just a little bit more love. So we're looking at that sago palm right over there. That one is for $14.97. So all of these self-watering planters that um, Walmart has is a really nice and they've actually upped the look of their um, self-watering plant planters. I really like that. So for instance, we have now found a trending tropical this one is an Alocasia Silver Dragon. I recently bought one of these um, a couple of days ago. And, you know, Alocasia, they're a little finicky. But this one's for $19.87. Um, I think that that's going to be a trending tropical a lot of people buy. And look at this one. I love this. This one is another trending tropical. Um, it's been in the market for a while. This is an Epipremnum Arium Golden Pothos. So this is an actual pothos that was developed in Japan from a mutation. A lot of people say that the parentage is either from like an Enjoy Pothos or Pearls and Jade. I'm going to assume it's Enjoy just because the green on green variegation is more pronounced and sectoral versus like the um, Pearls and Jade that has a little bit of splotching. But I am actually tempted to buy one of these. Epipremnum Arium Golden Pothos, even though I already have some, I'm gonna go ahead and start moving some of these trending tropicals right over here to feature what they look like on this like barbecue um, grill. But this one is for $19.97 and you notice the modern looking um, self-watering planter. I am actually really happy that Costa Farms uh, moved to that. I think it gives it more of a classic look a more modern look and nowadays i think a lot of people are looking for simplicity when it comes to their planters this one is an aglonema golden papaya so that one's a really lo nice looking aglonema i have about two of these in my collection um and you notice that these stems are beautiful and it's a happy aglonema just because it's starting to push out pups so that's the thing about aglonema guys if they're happy and they're mature they will start pushing out pups in which you can actually um, separate from the mother plant other ways to propagate aglonema is obviously like cuttings from it just making sure to cut below you know the node and i think water propagation is the most successful way of uh, propagating aglonema for me besides doing the um, pup or the baby separation here we have some more trending tropicals mixed in. This one is a Scandapsis Trubii Moonlight. I actually am thinking that if I, for this season, if I find some really good trending tropicals and save up some money, I think I'm going to try to get every single trending tropical. So obviously I don't have a Scandapsis Moonlight in my collection anymore. I didn't really have one just because it's a slow very slow growing skindapsis but nonetheless look at how beautiful it is it has like a very nice aqua marine blue silvery shine and that one is for 19 i kept on saying 1997 but i think it's 1984 is what the prices of these trending tropicals for walmart and then here is another raffinophora tetrasperma so it looks like this walmart has quite a bit of um trending tropicals you can see the Raphidophora tetrasperma, or what a lot of people call as the mini monstera, even though it is not a, a monstera technically. This plant right here needs bright indirect sunlight and it does need something to climb on. So a trellis, a moss pole, or something of that nature. But yeah, this is um, a trending tropicals plant for 1984. So Costa Farms did really well 
for the 24 2024 spring season as we get ready for it we're still in the you know dead of winter and honestly in the dfw or dallas fort worth market um, we are about to anticipate some very cold weather this coming monday i am filming this um on you know last you know this past tuesday so we'll see what that all looks like for plant deliveries but here we have another uh, monster adansonii this one isn't looking as healthy um, I would buy a Monster Adansonii Trending Tropicals just because I, the foliage of the leaves are much larger than the Adansonii that I've found. I would say I believe that the Adansonii they're using or Costa Farms is using is the wide form. They have different types of forms for the Monstera Adansonii and that's what um, it looks like. Here we have a Monstera Cobra, or that's what um, Custa Farms is calling this trending tropicals. This is actually a Monstera Standiliana. Beautiful variegation. It reminds me of like a Monstera Thai constellation with the speckling. There is a little bit more pronounced white variegation on this one specifically. And as you can see, this one is um, growing to look for a moss pole or some trellis. I believe this Monstera, as it gets more mature and grows up a pole, will finish straight so that's really cool i ended up buying um one of these this morning when i went to the first big box um, walmart and got me a philodendron golden crocodile and a monstera cobra so that's really cool so we've seen quite a bit of um trending tropicals at this walmart location so if you are in the dfw market definitely look at this walmart location there are many many um trending tropicals here even though all of the plants here are pretty much compressed to one section, I think they might end up moving the trending tropicals. Maybe they're just setting it up. Maybe they just got all the plants out of the palette just to make sure they get them out immediately. So I, I do appreciate that. Here we have a fern, the um, black rabbit's foot fern. This one's really cute as well. And this one is for $19.97. So these hanging baskets by um, trending tropicals not yet yeah, trending by costa farms is something that i would definitely buy like look at here we have another um epipremnum arium golden pothos this one looks like the hawaiian version this one is a highly variegated one so that's really nice i have about three hanging baskets now from costa farms i do like their hanging baskets and i do want to go ahead and add some more hanging baskets to my collection so here we have another trending tropicals. This one is a Monstera Peru, I believe right over here. We have a Monstera Peru. I'm gonna move that um, little palette thing out of the way, but look at how beautiful the leaves are on the textures of the leaves. These are all 1984. Look at that, that is really gorgeous. That is another plant for sure. I am gonna go add to my collection. Um, I am sold, I am gonna go ahead and get all the trending tropicals that are going to be sold at big box stores this season for 2024 just because obviously the plant looks really nice that's number one but number two the planters i don't feel like i have to replant them and i'm going to be curious to see and utilize the self-watering um, wick that it has to see if like um, the plants do remain healthy and you know that's one less step for me to have to worry about whether the plant has dried out completely just letting the self-watering wick um, do the job but um here is a monstera peru very very beautiful right over here um guys let me know in the comments what you guys think so far about the trending tropicals you've seen the health of the plants the I guess the merchandising of this particular big box walmart does your walmart already have all of these trending tropicals um, what other trending tropicals have you guys seen so far so i've seen quite a bit of all of um, trending tropicals so like this one right here obviously is an easy one to see this one is a zz raven for 1984. what i like about the zz raven is it is an easy grower the only way you can really kill it is if you overwater it but otherwise you can kind of just like set it and forget it leave it somewhere you can even grow it in your bathroom as long as it gets some kind of light so that's another thing about low light tolerant plants they will grow and tolerate low light but they still need light so like what i would suggest is if you grow a plant 
in low light conditions, you can always take a day where you move that plant out of its low light condition and give it some like bright and direct light for like a day or two. Just, you know, a way to boost its photosynthesis. And then here we have a begonia maculata. These ones look pretty healthy. When you're shopping for plants at big box stores or just stores in general, what you wanna take a look at is, does the plant have new growth? So you can see that this plant has some new growth. That is a good sign that the plant is established. Um, you can see that there is some new growth here and that plant is happy. Love all of the, um, you know, the polka dots of this begonia maculata. And then also as you're looking for you know plants in big box stores i've already mentioned this earlier in the video looking for pests double checking it and having that pest preventative um, ready to go when you get home isolation is key to try and prevent pest here we have a hanging basket for a philodendron brazil that one is another hanging basket of the rainbow moss that i've been seeing by costa farms here wow okay so this one's a first for me so far from all of my um Trending tropicals hunting I've done at big box stores like Walmart today. This one is a philodendron white knight. Um, if I hadn't spent all that money at the previous um, Home Depot, not Home Depot, Walmart, I would totally pick up this philodendron white knight. I had a white knight before, but I ended up killing it. Um, so this is something that I want to definitely add into my collection. That's really cool that there are trending tropicals um, new ones, especially in these self-watering um, wet pots um, of philodendron white nights. I like philodendron white night, not just because of the variegation. I feel like the variegation isn't as pronounced as some of like the philodendron um, marble princess stuff that we've been seeing. It's the stems. Look at the stems right over here. There's white variegation on the stem. So I was told that the difference between a white knight and a white wizard is the white knight has the white stems on it so really cool philodendron um, it is a philodendron urubescence um, it grows just like a philodendron print pink princess it would be easy to propagate and then here we have another uh, philodendron white knight i actually like the first one that i picked up but that's really cool so this one actually ha this walmart has a lot more um, trending tropicals we'll see if there's a philodendron golden crocodile and then that way i would say this one has the most um Trending Tropicals by Costa Farms for the 2024 Spring Edition. Um, yeah, I'm getting really excited to see what kind of plants I will see this season. Um, let me know what you guys think so far of what Trending Tropicals you've seen in your area or have your Walmarts started to restock. These all, all the Walmarts I've shown you so far are in the North Dallas, Fort Worth area. There's several of them within like a three to four mile radius. So I've got ample areas to check and show you guys um, videos. And this is the reason why I am able to at least produce one video um, premiere at least at nine, but I try to push for a 6 p.m. premiere so we can go ahead and get some of the plant folies that are getting off work or finishing up dinner to give you guys some plant entertainment. I appreciate everybody who's been jumping in the live chats. It looks like we're getting even more engagement each premiere. So really appreciate guys. Thank you so much for jumping on. I will be on those chats and be available to interact with you guys and answer any questions. So that's the fastest way to get a hold of me. Um, so here is, this one's interesting. So there are some more exotic angels hanging baskets, but these ones are in ceramic planters. I found this one really interesting the, um, because this particular syngonium right here, if it would focus, is really cute. It's smaller pink, um, you know, leaves. So I don't know exactly what this syngonium is here, but again, if I didn't spend all my money or my plant budget already at the first one, I would totally buy this. And this is actually, so I kept on saying Tradescanthi um, and Nanook for all of those proven winner um, plants, but this one's an actual legit Tradescanthi and Nanook. Notice how large the Nanooks, um, the Tradescanthi and Nanooks um, leaves are right there. Um, hmm. I am actually thinking about getting this hanging basket. I just talked about, you know, being mindful about my plant um, budget but you know the way i look at it is and i know i had another video where i'm like if you see the plant you need to go ahead and pick it up and buy it just because you won't see it well this is a big box store and big box stores will always replenish plants like this 
even if um, you may not see it often. So there are two Tritoscanthia nanooks, and then there's another interesting hanging basket plant right here. We have a hanging basket red maranthas, a fern, a philodendron Brazil. That's a really nice looking philodendron Brazil. Um, but this one is a really nice looking um, Skindapsis silver or the silver pothos. So all of these hanging baskets right here are $19.97. The ceramic ones are a little bit smaller than the bigger hanging baskets. And then we're going to be looking at this. Um, I keep looking at these nice cordyline compacta tea plants right here. Look at that stem right there. When I find a um, healthy version of it at a Walmart, I will definitely buy one. That's another one for $9.97 I would buy. And then this is a really nice looking Syngonium, some type of illusion. It could be a berry illusion or a bold illusion. Those are really nice. What I like about that Syngonium is it grows more compact and the leaves get larger and larger as it grows. But I keep going back to this nano. This is really cute. Should I just get like a, a cutting right here, like a little small pinch and then just grow it? Because Tritoscanthia, they're so easy to propagate. You just cut the the a little bit from it and then put it in water and like literally a day or two, you'll have some water roots and it'll be ready to go. Um, I actually have a Tritoscanthia um, cutting that I found just because when I was walking around a store, there was one that was literally on the ground um, at the brink of death. And I decided to just pick it up and then bring it home and put it in some water and now it's starting to thrive in Leca. But we're gonna go and pan out over here to look at some other bigger plants. So what I like about Walmart is that their bigger plants are priced very well, probably the most cost-effective plants you can possibly buy at any big box stores. I would say um, Walmart and even Home Depot have some very large specimen plants, some tropical plants you can add into your collection. So they have like, at this location, a wide variety of Spathophylla, Monstera deliciosa. We have some Majesty um, Palm. We have some um, Yucca plants, some Dracaena, like this one right over here that I'm going to look at for 1984. This Dracaena Ravina is very beautiful. I mean, Dracaena Diefenbachia. Sorry, guys. Diefenbachia Ravina is very beautiful. Look at that variegation right over here. So they have a lot of plants. I, I feel like they've kind of put all the plants together in one area just because they got a big shipment. Um, but maybe they just can't place all of these plants outside. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, that's my only critique about this Walmart is they should, you know, most likely get these plants styled better. So it's a little bit more merchandise for the consumer. But I am actually excited that Walmart is getting more modern planters. Look at these. These are by Better, um, better Homes. Um, right over here, that's their line. I like those planters. And then this is one of my favorite planters for $8.48. I plant all of my aglonema I buy from a big box or I repot them there. Really like that. But this one is really cool for the season. So it's got um, a miniature wooden um, plant stand for four inch potted up plant. So that's something I definitely will purchase. I actually have a video in the works where once Walmart gets all of its planters together, I'm gonna be comparing Walmart planters target planters and other big box planters and let you know which ones have the best looking ones but it looks like walmart has actually and i'm excited actually before i get into walmart has actually gotten into a little bit modern contemporary planters i really like that and i actually like that there is a pink for a version of this um, planter because i was actually taking spray paint and spray painting uh, that planter a different color like grays and pinks to meet my to meet my plant my planter aesthetic and that one's actually a nice looking basket right over there planter basket I would totally put that in my collection look at that rattan planter right over here I like that they have um, separate the planters and this year they've gotten some very bold modern colors I like that they have this pink variety of right here too I could totally see myself planting like a nice established aglonema or some kind of pink syngonium there this is a really cool minty looking um, light green color. I like the gunmetal um, planters they have over there. So 2024's plant season is definitely going to be very exciting for big box stores. It looks like this one has already gotten a lot of their outdoor patio um, 
set up and it's only the beginning of the first week of January 2024. I don't think these plants are 348. I, I think they're actually 497. And so we're going to look at the other exotic angels we have over here. So this one's an Epipremnum um, Pothos right over here, um, Pearls and Jade. These ones are in the older looking planters. Like I was saying, the exotic angels at the very beginning have a different type of planter. But nonetheless, it's really nice looking. We actually have one of those. You can see that the other ones are in those white planters. This one's a highly variegated um, philodendron Brazil. If I didn't really have a philodendron Brazil, I would purchase that small one. We have a really cool looking begonia that looks thirsty. Um, we have another Aurelia right over here. Um, really cool looking Aurelia for $4.97. I like the variegation on the on just the edges of the leaves. That's a really nice touch to it. And what I like about this Aurelia or this false Aurelia is how delicate the leaves are. Um, I have a variegated Aurelia that I'm trying to rehab and rescue that I bought from a Lowe's. So we'll see what that looks like in about a month and a half. I'll do an update. And then we have a variegated mar Marantha right over there. Here we have another um, Pearls and Jade Pothos. And we have another Thirsty Begonia right over here. I don't know about the plant ID, but that's for $4.97. And this is the variegated um, Aurelia I over, have over here. But if you notice, there's some un, under the uh, leaves, there's some brown stuff. So I don't know if those are thrifts or what kind of, um, if there's a pest or something going on. But here we have another Fetonia right over here. That's really nice. I love the pink veining. I don't know if you guys grow Fetonia. I'm interested to see if you guys do. Let me know if you've been able to grow one that's like super large and lush. I'd love to see, you know, actual pictures of that. I'll do my research, but we're going to go and pan back over here to look at the look at the big plants. So even though there's only like a 20 foot section of like tropical plants here, this um, location has gotten a lot of the trending tropicals. So that's one um, win for this location. Like look at these um, different types of trending tropical so this one didn't get the um, philodendron golden crocodile or maybe they did get the philodendron crocodile and golden crocodile and those were bought up very quickly that is a beautiful trending plant i would say out of all the costa farms trending you know tropical plants um the philodendron golden crocodile is probably my favorite one but i am going to go ahead and show you all the different trending tropicals they have so it's really nice to have all of them together. I have the. I am going to definitely get every single one. If I were to buy all of these today, I believe these would cost me about two hundred dollars, and I don't want to spend that much money on plants today. Um, we have a begonia maculata right over here. We have a a monstera adansonii right over here. We have a aglonema golden papaya right over here. Um, we have a Monstera Cobra, or that's what Costa Farms calls this trending tropical, or a Monstera Stendaliana right over here. This is a Monstera Peru right over here. Um, we have an Alocasia Silver Dragon right over here. And guys, these are all 1984 trending tropicals. We have an Epipremnum Arium um, Global Green over there. And we have a really nice looking philodendron white knight over here. And then lastly, we have a Skindapsis Trubrii Moonlight. So I want to pan over all of these trending tropicals. Very beautiful. I would definitely go to this um, location if you want to just do like a one time big time. I'm going to buy every single trending tropical that's being released for 2024, at least at Walmart. So we'll see what other trending tropicals end up at Lowe's, Home Depot, any grocery stores. I will be definitely on the lookout for that. But I absolutely love this collection. I wish I could say this is my plant haul. I bought all of these trending tropicals, but I have put on some um, plant restraint for today. I kind of went overboard by buying four plants this morning. I'll see you guys on the next one.